um, wokeness is destroying the family structure in this country. So it couldn't be because a lot of women in this country can't even cook a simple meal. But the interesting thing is we still bitch about it on social media. Us talking about it. We have to, lady. We have to shout to the mountaintops, get your passport, and leave. Welcome back to more to life. I got another one for you guys. Before we get into it, I ask that you please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to click the notification bell to ensure that you get on my videos as soon as I release them. I'm not going to hold you. Let's hop right into it. So, feminists hate men. They've given up on them. Passport bros decided to go to other countries to meet women. It sounds to me like we are all on common grounds and we have resolved the problem. Woo! Women have realized. She said it. They've given up on men. <laughs> they left. We saw the problem. That's really all there is to it, right? The problem is solved. But let's see what else she has to say. But the interesting thing is, we still bitch about it on social media. So could it be that American men and women are both very miserable? Well, she's talking about us talking about it. We have to, lady. We have to shout to the mountaintops, get your passport, and leave. Get your passports. It's that bad. If you continue shouting to the mountaintops and still don't understand what they both want or can't afford it the point is if you're a cat lady what's chapter two for you and if you're a passport bro what is chapter two for you oh yeah chapter two for us i'm showing it i'm the guy showing it all the time i show the successes of men Bringing women around women like you, and I'm saying, no, 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 no. I gotta go back to the Philippines. I gotta go back to Thailand. I gotta go back wherever it is and get away from you, woman. Oh, absolutely. These women are getting around you and say, oh, no, this is not what I'm used to. I wanna go back to the motherland with the money I made and saved up and build up my riches to leave. Do you have kids with someone and bring them to this country? All, all jokes aside, what is chapter two? I'm waiting. What are you talking about? Oh, yes. And I show chapter two. You, and you know, the thing with this with TikTok, right, is a lot of women are not researching. Like, she's never thought and said, you know what? Let me really research this passport bro thing before I talk about it. it. But it's understandable, right? Because that's not something that a lot of women do. And I'm not trying to play women. It's just true. Like, I remember I used to watch Kevin Samuels. So I, let, me, let me give you a breakdown of how... I ended up watching Kevin Samuels and liking it. People don't tell women the truth these days. Men get told the truth all the time. Women have no problem telling a man, I don't want an average man. It happens every day on my show. At first, I'm, I'm, I'm watching him and I said, mm, he's a little harsh. I really thought that at first. But you know what I did? I watched further. TLC said they don't want no scrubs. And we have no problem telling average men, you ain't crap. Because I'm not going to judge someone without fully watching them. And that's what a lot of women doing. They go, oh, these passport bros, the same thing they did to Kevin. Oh, these passport bros like this. So I watched them. I seen the takes at first. I seen the short clips. But if I just happen to have the nerve to agree with the woman that says she's average, then I'm Satan. I think that's interesting. Well, you can't judge someone by a short clip, right? Like they, a lot of women are judging it by what they see on TikTok, a short clip. So I look further. I watched his live streams for sometimes two, three hours. And I said, oh, yeah, this, this brother's really tackling the issue. And this is necessary, right? And he wanted to save what was happening, but was bashed for it. And that's the same thing that happens with a woman like this, right? She doesn't really mean any harm, but why would you make this video? But, guys, let me go on to another one. Let me go on to another one because this video right here is going to explain, or she's going to explain exactly why, guys, all the way they are now, why the Things are changing, right? The, recently, I've seen videos that 
the wait times for a passport is increasing. I feel like, man, the guys that are speaking about it are doing something right. I've been speaking about this for years, saying, man, get your passports. For years, man, this is why you want to come to the Philippines. For years. And there's other guys that have been doing it too, but now, oh, man, it's at full bloom. And here's why. It's because they want a woman who is dependent on them for their life. So it couldn't be because um, wokeness is destroying the family structure in this country. So it couldn't be because a lot of women in this country can't even cook a simple meal. It couldn't be because a lot of women in this country don't even want a man because a man ain't Ooh, I like her. It definitely couldn't be because a lot of women in this country are boss and think starting a family would ruin their career. I mean, it definitely couldn't be. I don't even need to react to this. <laughs> this is my reaction to this. Let, let me continue because a lot of women in this country um, would rather have an abortion than take responsibility for their actions, you know, and raise a child. And it also couldn't be because a lot of women in this country think they're strong and independent women, but expect their man to do everything for them while giving nothing in return. Thanks. Nah. Woo! Man, everything. Expect a man to do everything for them while giving nothing in return. Now, one thing I know, that's not feminine at all. That's a, that's Hitler tactics, right? They're like Nazis. That's why I call it the feminazi. I call it the feminazi. They're handling it like Nazis. Because, you know, right now you say the effingness and some, some of your videos will get flagged, but forget that. It's the feminazi. It's definitely because they want somebody who's dependent on them and dumb and uneducated. And the thing is, right, when we're leaving, a lot of these women are educated, the women are not dumb. Now, does a man want a woman to depend on him? Yes, but not in all things, right? A guy wants a woman that is going to come to him for nurturing the same way we get, we're we getting nurturing. We're giving that to our woman, too. True. We're giving that to our woman, too. Me and my wife talk and think together. She's my best friend. Does she depend on me and I depend on her? Yes, we depend on each other. That's what marriage is all about, right? Guys have to leave. I knew... And I seen the statistics and the way things were happening. I was always a guy that paid attention to stuff. And and the funny thing, it kind of just the passport world just landed on my lap. It just happened. But as it was happening. I, I started looking at things and saying, "Oh man, this is the right choice. Yeah, I need to do this." And boom, I'm leaving. All right? That's what's happening. A lot of guys are starting to realize that too. But let me see. I got another video for you guys. Let me see what this video here is about. I had a guy in my comments say, "Oh, come on, guys, passport bros, passport bros." Listen, we don't give a damn if you want to go to Russia, China, you know, or anywhere to find the woman of your dreams. By all means, go over there. Because as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to dating other ethnicities, other than black men, we don't have to worry about 50-50. We don't have to worry about princess. And we don't have to worry. We want y'all to go over there. I want you to go over there. By all means, my black king. Nothing to say. Go over there where you are worshipped, where you are welcome. I already did it. Trust me. Because the next, the last time a black man called me a queen, I was crying. When a white man, when my girls them that's dating white guys or Europeans or whatever, they queens for real. Okay, so y'all can go over there and have a great time. I want that for you. Matter of fact, I will help you apply to get a passport. Well, you know what? More power to you. Right? But y'all have been talking about divesting for years. We did not start screaming to the mountaintops. Oh, these black women divesting. Oh, man. Oh, that's that's wrong. Oh, we look stupid doing it. Now, some guys may turn around and say, oh, well, why are you reacting? Oh, no, you got to react. I have to show you guys, right? There's a way out. I have to defend you guys, too. I feel like it's my personal responsibility to defend you guys because I don't want you to feel bad for a woman like this talking. And I know you're like, wow, Jay, it's working. Yes, it, it's working. And a lot of guys are leaving. And a lot of guys are seeing their successes. But on this channel here, More to Life, I will continue to be on the front lines to talk against women like this, right? Because they don't realize how uncooperative they are. And if you're cooperative, because I don't know her, if you're a cooperative woman, that's good. That's good. I don't know you. 
just like you don't know the past what bros you're talking about, right? Obviously, admitting leaving is a problem. Face it. We always have a choice. Don't jump on TikTok and keep talking about it. Because what you're doing, oh, man, you're creating. That's why the, the, the passport offices are busy right now. But you know what's happening, too, is there you have certain women, and this happened, this, this was crazy, that the lady that worked at the post office was trying to mess with passport bros, passport application, or guys probably that were going to be passport bros. What if the guy wasn't? The guy probably wasn't going to be a passport bro. The guy probably just wanted a passport. It's crazy that you, you are, are breaking laws out of hate. But with all that being said, man, from seeing stuff like that and seeing stuff like this, the black queen is tired of password bros. I support it. No, you don't. One thing we do know is definitely more to life than dealing with a woman like you.